Are there constellations that are visible from anywhere? Yes, possibly the most glorious is visible from everywhere on Earth, Orion. Its pattern links brilliant points of light. Stars are distinctive in Orion's belt. But this is our earthly perspective. Fly two circles through space and the stars of Orion shift position. It's because they lie at varying distances from Earth. Only when we return to Earth do they resume their two-dimensional pattern, Orion. Who was Orion? In Greek mythology, Orion was a hunter who was killed by a scorpion that stung his heel. So in deference, only as Orion sets do the stars of his slayer rise, well away in Scorpius. The band of pale blue is our galaxy, the Milky Way, backdrop to Antares, the brightest star of Scorpius. The pattern really looks like a scorpion, especially the tail. It is very distinct, but this is less convincing. Hercules, the strong. And how about Leo, the lion slain by Hercules? In the pattern of Taurus, the shape of a bull? Easier is Cygnus, constellation of the swan. But this could be anything, in fact. Gemini, the twins. And who would guess Capricornus, the sea goat? Or Sagittarius, half beast, half man? In the northern sky from the northern hemisphere, a popular pattern takes shape. The stars of the Big Dipper, part of Ursa Major, the constellation of the Great Bear. How many main stars does it have? It has seven main stars. They change position if you go back or forward a hundred thousand years. It's because the upper and lower stars travel separately from the other five. The five move as a cluster. Two stars in the bowl of the plow, or Big Dipper, are called the pointers. Merak and Dube show the way to Polaris, the pole star. Polaris is in Ursa Minor, constellation of the Little Bear. The Big Bear was a nymph transformed for an illicit love affair. The Little Bear, her son, transformed for mistakenly hunting her. In punishment, the god Jupiter swung the pair into the sky and stretched their tails.